Hi guys, a little while ago I posted um, an image on my Instagram at MJ underscore illustrates um, of a beautiful magnolia with a blurry background and um, had a few conversations online about how to do that background so I thought I would make a Procreate tutorial. Um, so it's a long title but I'm calling it Procreate tutorial how to make blurry backgrounds and this includes the photographic term bokeh, which is like the little beads of light in uh, in the distance of photographs. And so I'll show that to you as well. Um, so just to give you an example of what we're aiming for, this is a photo that I took. Oh, wrong one, sorry. Let me just adjust it here. This is a photo that I took with my macro lens. You can see here that the bud is in focus and then in behind it in the depth of field it's all out of focus and then as well i have another example of a bleeding heart and i'll just enlarge that one for you too and you can see that all the green foliage in behind it is out of focus and in photography terms this is a depth of field uh, a choice with the shutter speed um, and the aperture um, I should say the aperture and then um, if there was little round blurry beads of light in photography we call that bokeh and so I wanted to have this effect with some of the florals that I've been painting in Procreate on my iPad so I'll just take you to a magnolia now you see that I painted this magnolia in Procreate and it is what is in the forefront or going to be the forefront of the photo and so using layers I want to show you how we're going to blur and create other magnolia blossoms and foliage and branches faded into the distance so what you'll want to do is you'll want to have in your layers you'll want to um, be working with layers that are behind your forefront so these are my magnolia layers, so they're going to be on top and we're going to be adding layers in behind. So start on um, a layer that's underneath everything. And I think the first thing I want to do is just make some blurry blossoms. And so I'm going to use my color picker tool and choose a uh, pink, but not too light, not too dark. And I'm going to use my round brush. It's under painting round brush. And I'm going to make it about the size of what a blossom would be. Now, if you press like hard, it's going to be a darker blossom. If you press really light, it'll be a lighter blossom. And so I'm going to make a variety. Two finger tap undoes, undoes what you did. And I'm going to do just a variety. And these are all the same size. So I will just adjust the size here a little bit and do some smaller kind of fun and then even smaller now these to you just look like regular polka dots so what's special about that well let's go up here to this tool and choose Gaussian blur when you use your pen or finger and you um, drag it on that layer on that polka dotted layer that we made you can see that I can bring it in and out of focus. I want these blossoms to be the farthest away, so they're gonna be the blurriest. So let's blur them out quite a bit, and then let's make one more layer of these exact blossoms on top of that layer. You can see the new layer, and we'll make these a little less blurry. It'll bring them closer to us, which is based the basic photographic principle of what is closer to you is more in focus if that's how you're focusing your camera of course but that's generally how it is i'm going to make some big ones and i'm going to make them since i want to make the big ones light and fluffy i am going to lower the opacity there and we'll just do some big fluffy blossoms and then once again now i want to blur those so go to gaussian blur and blur those out now actually hmm some of these here look a little too polka dotty to me. So we're gonna blur them out some more. And then you can also use your eraser tool 
Um, I'm gonna put it on a soft brush. You don't have to do this, but I'm gonna actually maybe just change the shape of them, of some of these a little, so they're not so polka dotted. There, it adds a little bit of variety to what we're seeing, maybe look a little more flower-like. Okay, so now what I want to do is create branches and the green buds and leaves. So we'll go and create a branch layer, and that's layer 16. Oh, you want to use your color picker tool here and pick out, sorry guys, okay, pick out like just a nice medium brown. I'm still going to use the round brush, but I'm going to make it about the the thickness of the branch. Now remember, the farther you get away, the smaller thing, the, the farther away from our main subject focal point, the smaller things are. So if, we're, if we want this branch to be in the background, we want to think of it as smaller than these branches. And I'm going to raise that opacity again. And so now the idea is I want to just create with my eye I just have to erase what's behind there because for some reason my blossom is a little transparent. Sorry, that was not meant to be part of the video. Okay, so then um, back to, back to back to this. Okay, so um, just creating branches, um, putting them in places where I think would please the eye and draw the eye into the photo. So like leading leading the eye back into the photo. I call it a photo, but it's a piece of art. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, we're gonna do this. So those lead me in, and maybe one more over here that just kind of leads the eye in. Okay, those look awful until we gauge and blur them. And once we add that blur, look how very cool that appears in the background. Oops, <laughs> didn't mean to do that either. There we go, let's do this. Okay, so now, lastly, add a new layer. I wanna grab some of this green, this beautiful olive green I've got going on in here. And I am gonna change my brush. I like to use what's called the jagged brush. And the jagged brush is really kinda like leafy on its own that green is not all of you it's not bright enough for me so let's grab a different one let's go like that one okay so i'm double checking it's on its own layer yes it's on its own layer so i'm making bigger leaves right now a few here and there uh, actually i don't want to cover those branches but we'll do a bigger leaf there and there and then i'm going to make some smaller, smaller guys. Okay, and I actually wanna add a little brighter lighter to that. And all this is on one layer, and you can decide that for yourself of what you wanna do. And then we're gonna gauge and blur those. And the foliage will be there, but blurry. Look at that. Okay, so now to add what I was talking about, bokeh. Um, bokeh is beads of usually round light in the background of photography. And so I like to grab a really soft yellow. I'm going to go back to that round brush. I'm going to put it on its own layer. And I'm going to make these nice and big bokeh. I want my bokeh to be here. Actually, let's change the size just a bit. And there is one there, which I didn't actually mean to make there, but let's do it. And then the other thing is I want to blur these as well so that they're not just polka dots, but they added a really nice bokeh. I love it all except for um, sorry. Okay, I love it all except for that one. I don't know why that one bugs me, so I'm just gonna softly erase that one. 
And actually, I'm going to erase a little bit of that one. So it's like I like, maybe I erased it too much. There we go. That gives you an example of doing depth of field and blurry backgrounds. Now to finish up this image, I would take my smudge tool on layers like you see where that magnolia is super crisp on the edge. I take my smudge tool and soften that layer and sort of blend to help create the magnolia to be softened on the edge so it fades into the image as well so it doesn't look like clip art. And that's how I would finish that up. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope it gives you some ideas. Have a great day.